Are you feeling trapped? Did you want to go outside today? But the government said that you can't unless you hate old people. If you're anything like me, you're trying to think of some ways to kill time. So, I got some tips for you today. I want to become an influencer, just like every other 20-something college student. Usually my Instagram feed is full of influencers doing cute outdoorsy things like hiking or posing in front of a mural or walking their dog or all those outdoorsy things that we took for granted before we had to self-quarantine. But I want to show you some indoor photo shoot ideas because just because we're inside doesn't mean we get to slack on our gram game. We're gonna need some key ingredients. Step one, a light. I'm gonna use a ring light because I like it and I feel cool while I'm using it. Ingredient number two, you're gonna need a camera. Human tripod not included. Ingredient number three, you have to get out of the dryer. In fact, you don't even need to start in the dryer. I just thought that was funny. Ingredient number four, milk. I will explain myself later. Last. And of course not least, we are gonna be using random stuff from around our apartment to just create props and cute photo shoot ideas. Most of the stuff should be stuff that you have or some sort of equivalent. I don't wanna like create like a crazy set that you're not gonna be able to replicate at home. I tried to keep these as like simple as possible. For our first photo shoot, I grabbed a bunch of clothes from my closet. I tried to make sure the clothes that I grabbed were coordinating as far as the color palette goes. So I grabbed yellow, pink, and blue. You can just grab whatever colors you want. And then I threw it into the dryer and climbed in. I wanted it to look like I was part of the laundry getting clean. Honestly, don't ask, because I don't know, but this was surprisingly fun to shoot. That's so cool. It literally looks like I'm like falling out with the clothes. Very artsy, for sure. Like that is not a glam photo shoot at all, but I'm kind of into it. Oh, no. <laughs> And since I already had my clothes out from my closet, I took them and threw them on the floor. Because for this next photo shoot, we're gonna do an overhead shot of me laying down in all of my laundry with my hair spread around my head. I wanted this to be bright and colorful, but not too put together. I like a little bit of messiness in a photo shoot. next one, I want to do like tea pouring from my little cute little teapot that I have into like a mug, but I don't want to like burn myself. So I was thinking it might be cute if I used like food coloring. I just think that'd be like interesting. I haven't seen that before. I'm sure it's been done, but we're going to do it again. I'm going to do green because leaves are green. <laughs> that does not look green. It'll turn green though. I believe you. It's just hilarious. I didn't know food coloring so came in black not... tar that looks like venom. Look, I feel like that looks like creepy, but whatever. It definitely looks like a villain from Disney kind of yeah. crock pot. Okay, cool. Where should I be for this photo? Definitely not with the garbage in the background, that's for sure. So what I'm thinking, have you ever seen those parallax picture things? It's a GIF that's moving back and forth, oh. but like it's pretty much like someone took a sequence of pictures yeah. and they kind of like capture it in time. I think yes. that could be a tour. That's photos. so cool, I love that. For these, we weren't a huge fan of them because against the white wall, it ended up looking kind of flat. So we just moved locations to add a little bit more depth. One, two, three, go. Did you pour it perfectly? I poured it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that turned out pretty good. Me pouring my coffee every morning. Next, we're gonna try to pretend we are in New York City. I'm gonna put on a leather jacket. Pretty sure that's what they wear. So, uh, that's yeah. That's what they wear in New York City. <laughs> that's what they wear in New York. Lots of black. And then I'm gonna have my little Polaroid. Cute little backpack. And then I'm gonna hold my little Polaroid and be pretending that I'm taking a photo in New York City. But I'm in my living room. Don't tell my Instagram followers. I want them to think I'm super cool. <laughs> okay. I have my tools, I have a suit. Doesn't look like I'm really in New York. <gasps> Whoa, babe. This one was a stretch. You should see the original one. The original one's bad. <laughs> definitely just looks like green screen. Like a commercial from a small town. They definitely look like stock photos. Like yeah. it looks like I can go on Shutterstock and find one of these there for sure. 
You can tell that I'm totally like not in New York just by the face that I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> this for some reason looks like you were just stalking someone like, hi, my name is Jessica and I've been taking pictures of you all day. Hello, I'm about to do something extremely safe. I feel like if it's completely dark in here, that might look cool. Ooh, yeah, that'd be the coolest, okay. Ready? Hi, sisters. Let's actually turn it all the way down. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh. Looks like I'm in a glowing donut. Yeah, like a space hula hoop. I like that one. It looks like I'm like a magical creature, like coming out of a portal. So we are using a clothing rack and we're gonna drape a black background over this. You don't necessarily even need black. We just think black will look cool. Just whatever color you want. I have a blanket, sheet, whatever. Please don't go to my our dying plant. His name was Wilfred. He's <laughs> on his way out. Wow, I'm like really struggling with this and I have like no reason why. Ooh, and then. So funny, like this is still on, like the tag. Why did we never take the tag off? You know, just like how you leave the tag on your snapback, like it's for authenticity and like dopeness. Mm. Street cred. Our uh, hearth and hand street cred. Fantage. Bougie. So like you're thinking like. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at you, a natural born model. I really like this one. It looks like I'm like excited about heaven. <laughs> What's funny is the first thing I thought when I saw this was, dang, that's angelic as hell. Oh my gosh. We have a candle and we're gonna light it with a lighter. Don't play with fire, kids. Yeah. Unless you're making dope content. And then it's fun. Just kidding. <laughs> we'll get sued. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure you don't sue us. And that one, I'm just like, yee, fire. Eyeliner on point, though. I'm gonna touch it, you gotta get it right. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ow! <laughs> Do you want me to get one of me blowing it out? Yeah, yeah. Right. I think it went black, like, right after this. Shutter wasn't fast enough. Cool. That was pretty. You're looking great, babe. Thank you. Hello. Picking out some red paint, because I'm going to paint on my face with watercolors. Cannot guarantee the state of my acne after I do this. Oopsies, it's for art. Outfit change. Going for a little bit of a gothic romantic look. Cause we're about to do something with the milk. I'm sure you've been wondering what that was about. Stay tuned. First, I gotta do my stage makeup. This is very dramatic and romantic. <laughs> I'm gonna <Mona>. use, <laughs> it's not. You know, I've never painted on my face before. Like my own face. And then what if I do something like super artsy and like... That looks kind of sick actually. See if I can match this vibe. <laughs> what if the other one is like way bigger than this one? All right, it's fine. Now it should be like... Dude, like start in my life. Like even with eyeliner, I just can't get things even. James Charles, I'm coming for your throne. There's a new makeup artist in town. I can kind of do hearts on my face. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. Final touch, cause the lips gotta match. Cute. The moment you've been waiting for. What we're gonna do is go over to our newly cleaned bathtub. Turn the water on. Plug the plug. While the bathtub is filling, I'm gonna show you what we are trying to recreate. So there's a thing called a milk bath, and basically you just fill your bath, and then you add milk to the bathtub, and it creates this like milky water. Duh. And then you add like flowers to it. We're gonna add these like fake rose petals to it. So it's supposed to look kind of like that. I think it's so pretty. It's probably not everybody's like cup of tea of what they think is like beautiful, but I absolutely love it. And I thought like doing like the face paint would like add a little twist on it that I hadn't seen other people do. So might be cute, might be weird. Who needs some milk? Ooh, okay, next, milk. I've never gotten into a tub like fully clothed. I feel like I'm like breaking the law. <laughs> Are they sinking? They're sinking. Oh no, they're supposed to float. Dang it, we don't even have a plan B. <laughs> Crap. All right, what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna take photos one-handedly and then drop them. Please don't fall on me though. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, we're going to <gasps> That is so cool. That's like them falling, the flower yeah, petals. Yeah, like I caught that like perfectly. Oh my gosh. That was like probably the best photo of the night. Yeah, I did not expect that to happen, but like, I was like, oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> made up for all of them sinking. I'm just going to spend a couple minutes still in here collecting some flower petals. I just like really don't want to like clog our dreams. Oh boy, oh boy. Here's the aftermath of my photo shoot. As you can see, we used quite a bit of rose petals because they would sink immediately. The pictures that I've seen, people use real flowers and I was really excited to try it with fake flowers, but you know what, that's what I get for trying to pretend I know things that I don't. Besides that, this indoor photo shoot went a lot better than I thought it would. I'm the sort of person where I think like a photo shoot automatically means outside. So like we're looking for a cute park or like a cute mural or whatever. And I think that just goes to show that when you put your mind to it and you just want to be a little bit creative, that you can come up with stuff that still looks really dope and you don't have to ignore your Instagram while we're in quarantine. So definitely not the most life-saving advice that I can offer you during this time, but I do hope that it kind of makes your life a little bit more like fun and you're able to have like a creative outlet while you're stuck inside. Ooh, there's a milk curd. Ew. Right. So, if this is helpful for you, please like, comment, subscribe, or share it with a friend. Every little bit helps my channel get noticed, so thank you in advance. If you are new here, I come out with fashion-related content every single week. If you're into that, please subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs> Wait, I might be too big for this. I was saying that, but you were so confident. No, 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 I think I can't. No way. Wow. Wait, you know in the Lorax where he's like, I am the Lorax, speaker for the trees. <laughs> That's how I feel, just popping out of a tree trunk. Put me on my spin cycle. <laughs> Hello. Would you like to talk about your feelings? Cause I sure would. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, oh, look, I'm spinning. Wait, wait, look. I can make myself spin. I was trying to turn over to 